born out of the teens of the 60s, whole free sex movement. And uh, my parents really weren't a couple. My parents were bumping and grinding and just made me and I came as a surprise. I went to the school called Concordia. I was in the first one. That year at Concordia, it was a great year because the GQ crew started also so it was my first year to be able to have my own self-expression with wearing clothes and fashion. Noon is a little bit younger than us, like a year or two and everything. And but he was their strongest guy. And he was always bold and real brash. And uh, you could always tell it in his style of dress. And, uh, and so girls came from everywhere to see us. We hung out on 82nd. Um, they would come all the way from Berkeley, mm -hmm. uh, Holy Names, Fishbowl Dallas Colin, just to look at us. <laughs> We'd be standing the whole line, feet against the wall, and just everybody got a different outfit on. It was like, like we were some movie stars or something. I became a background dancer for this brother from Oakland named Kirby Coleman. So when I saw him dance, <laughs> when I saw him dance, I saw him move. He moved like a like a classic old move. He moved around the floor like he was on, on air. You know, smooth. Everything was smooth. I met my pop, and then my pop started telling me about who he was. So my pops was a Black Panther, he told me. He also was an Oakland Raider, got drafted, and John Madden was his, his coach. Al Davis drafted him. I'm like, man, you know what kind of bragging rights I would have had in the hood saying my pops played for the Raiders, man? We were a gunshot away from this uh, Oakland Alameda Coliseum where we used to play. And, and so I know that the Raiders were a, uh, a team, you know, that was embraced by the years. In fact, his father played for the Raiders. person my pops brought over to my house, Tarika Lewis, the first Black Panther woman, was my father's first cousin. I'm like, wow. Cousin Dennis called me and he said, I have a surprise for you. So we headed out to East Oakland, went by this house, and here comes this teenager, this tall, lanky, handsome teenager, come bouncing out the back room and my jaw dropped to the floor. It was like looking at Dennis 20 years before. I remember first meeting my Uncle Jeffrey. My Uncle Jeff was coming down the stairs. My background coming from the GQ crew, we, we love fashion. He had these crocodile shoes on. I knew those Crocs because I had cut out a picture of those Crocs and it was by Ralph Lauren and they were a thousand dollars. I'm like, man, that dude is genius. He had a special affinity for me. I mean, I just knew it. You just, just, it was just, it was a match made in heaven. He was a dancer. He was a party type. He was a good time. And that's why I brought him in immediately. He helped me promote and uh, work in the entertainment industry because he was just a natural. Now you have to understand that Thursday night was our biggest dance night. That night was given to Nooney because he was totally qualified to run that night. Uh, everybody would come through Jeffrey, the Raiders, anybody that was on the Warriors, the Latrell Sprewell, the A, Michael Jordan, and, and Scottie Pippen. You met some everybody here, man. I mean, from Cedric the Entertainer, uh, Terry McMillan, Johnny Cochran, uh, you know, Steve Harvey. It was popping at Jeffrey. May 1st, 1993, I got a phone call. It was my younger brother, Jeffrey. And he simply said, Dennis, Nudie's been shot. He's in clinical condition. Whoa.
fight, fight, fight. You hear me? You hear me? You let me down on this one? Pardon, I'll never speak to you again. I need you to fight, fight. Day, this is day by day. Let's just get through this night. If we get through here, we got it made. Let me do you a shot, but everything's all right. You got to fight, boy. You got to fight your boys outside. Everybody's outside waiting for you to walk out. Now, can you do that? No matter what your tragedy. 